So my name is Joe Fontaine. I'm a lecturer here at Murdoch University in Environmental and Conservation Sciences. Uh, basically, I study bushfire and plant ecology and some wildlife ecology. And basically, the bulk of my research is around understanding how these things will persist here in the future. And a lot of times it's about interacting with things like bushfire or climate change, like droughts or heat waves and that sort of thing. Environmental conservation sciences, I, I would call myself a disturbance ecologist. So I fit really squarely and sort of in that discipline. And I really love what I do. And I would say part of what really drew me to it was I grew up um, in far away from here from my accent in California, USA, and love being outdoors. And over time, I really came to understand that I really enjoyed the natural environment and being outdoors. And I wanted to know how stuff worked. And it's over time between that and really wanting to contribute to give back more than I take to help inform how we're going to keep the magnificent diversity of places like Southwestern Australia here in the future. The Bachelor of Science at Murdoch, and you know, specifically in my area, environmental and conservation science, we have a few degrees. We have um, an environmental management degree, an environmental science degree, there's a conservation and wildlife degree. And particularly those degrees, we want students to have a breadth of experience by the time they leave here. And they want, we want some practical experience. We want them to be able to span disciplines. And we often encourage students to kind of combine that with a minor, it could be in plant biology, it could be in statistics, to, so, so that people leave Murdoch with a good skill set to get a job. So if you come to Murdoch and you're going to do a bachelor's degree, effectively you're looking at about a three-year uh, time horizon if you, do, if you go full-time. And during that time, we're going to try to teach you a lot about how the place works. And that means you, you could take wildlife biology, you could take atmospheric science, you could take uh, soil, uh, land and water sort of stuff. You could, there's marine stuff. And across all of those, what we're trying to uh, impart to you is the capacity to think critically and to know about how the system works and to be able to think across different topics. It's not just the furry creatures. It's not just the plants. It's about the soils. It's about the water. It's about the atmosphere and how they interact. Well, I'm speaking right now in the middle of our Banksy garden here at Murdoch University, which we kind of call a bush campus. And I think that that really conveys what we try to impart in our degrees, and that's practical experience. We try to get the students outdoors, out on the water, in the bush, counting animals, counting plants, and therefore sort of fusing that sort of whatever you can learn in a square classroom with out in the real world and understanding how to put those together. Yeah, so I've been at Murdoch now since for a decade, which seems crazy to me. And over that time, I've seen a lot of students come through and enter the workforce. And a lot of the people I've had the opportunity to get to know end up in environmental consultancy, uh, state government. Some have gone on and stayed in, in sort of academia and done more study. And um, others have gone on to work uh, internationally. So for example, there's a graduate from a number of years ago who works for the United Nations, who's really high up in the, in the UN, for example. If we look back, it's 2020, we have a pandemic going on. And right before that, we had a big bushfire season in the Eastern States. And for the people that are in uni now, seeing these issues, there's an opportunity to get into those, in those in, involved in those issues and contribute the knowledge that we're gonna need to move forward. I think more than ever, uh, we need uh, more boots on the ground, if you will, of people who understand science and can speak the language of science. Because if we don't have an informed discussion in our society about what the facts on the ground are, uh, then we're going to probably end up going backwards. This place is amazing. It's awesome. And it's, it's, an, it's a treasure. And we need to know more about this place in order to make sure that it's still here in another century. I really enjoy the opportunity to learn and to keep learning and to try to contribute to the conservation of this great place.